gonna try this. This is gonna be the last time I try this because I've tried it five times. So I'm exhausted and my hair probably shows it. It's humid and I am, yeah. This is gonna be called a drunk fairy video because it's not cooperating. There's crown, apple crown in here that my husband fixed me, but it's very tiny crown, a lot of eyes, a lot of water, cranberry juice. Oh, I'm so tired, I am really am. So, with that said, this video is not for kids. Go to your platform, kiddos, and um, watch videos there, sorry. Okay. So what am I doing? This is Lynn from LB Crafts. Thank you for coming out. Uh, I said this may be the second video, but I'm not gonna put them together. I don't know how. One, two, I don't have a patience. And um, <coughs> I don't know why I have a lag. I've never seen that before. Okay, with that said, we're, marrying, we're making fairy gardens. What's a fairy garden? A fairy garden, I'm gonna move everything that I just showed you in the last video, or I so thought I showed you, but it kicked me out. So I'm moving everything back to where I got it so I can at least show you what a fairy garden is and we'll go from there, okay? Bear with me, I'm sorry I'm a little flustered, but <sighs> yes, so Here's my fairy garden right here. I don't know if it's your left or your right. I think it's this is my left. So, um, and it's sitting on top of an artificial grass mat that I have. These grass mats can be, um, if you can use this for, of course, your your fairy garden, and it can be little bushes. I've taken a bunch out. See, one, two, three, four. This will be my fifth time for filming. So you can use this. This is what my fairy garden is sitting on here. And a fairy garden is just that, just a cute little fairy and um, the, a garden for, for her or him or your gnome. It also has little flowers. I got these from my stash, from, my, from wild orchid, or orchid flowers, I think, wild orchid crabs. I used this set right here that includes this really pretty um fairy house and everything that's in here was five dollars from the store it's called a garden set no or a fairy garden set and this is what it looks like i guess i'm moving too fast i'm not sure i i've never had this problem before isn't this just a video what in the <coughs> i've never seen this before it's like lagging why would it have a lag? <sighs> okay, whatever. So here's, here's the, here it is and it's $5, okay? And it comes with a house, either a gnome or a fairy and then some accessories. So I made mine, so I put the fairy here, excuse me, the fairy house, the fairy and the accessories that it came with in here. And I also added some flowers and bushes uh, from the other uh, grass mats that I have. I showed these on the other video. I will show you because you have not seen it. I'm talking like you've seen another video. You have not. And you can get these at the 99 cent store. That's where I grabbed them from. Um, and the Dollar Tree, the Family Dollar. That's where I got all my equipment or all my things, materials. Um, this is the fairy. This is a little, uh, doesn't fit in there, but this is a little chair that came in there. A little welcome to my garden. And then a little fence. So all that, these five pieces, I put on this fairy, and this, excuse me, this grass mat. And I just placed them anywhere I want it. Uh, very simply, this is very simple, very simple to do. This simpler to do. This is like the simplest thing. <clears throat> you can also find things around your house and make a fairy garden. 
I did that whenever I did not know or didn't was unaware that a fair garden was a thing. So I made them out of things from the house. If I can find that picture, I did not make a video obviously, but I, if I find the uh, picture, I'll insert it here. I'll put it in the comments eventually. But I also found this little uh, flower, flameless tea light is what it's called. And I will be adding it to my uh, fairy garden like this. And if you have it displayed like in your um, coffee table or at your desk at work or whatnot, that's what you can do. I'm doing this because I was going to have an April crop, uh, scrap looking crop here at my house. And we were going to make this as our craft. But um, circumstances being what they are, I am canceling the, the crop and we will not be making. Well, I will not be having it, of course, so we will not be making this. I may reschedule it for later this fall. So that's why I have so many supplies. Um, and I just, if you hear some noises, my kiddos are home. We're all home because of the circumstances being what they are, right? Um, <coughs> so please disregard any noises. My little um, puppy's also walking around, so um, same. With that said, let me show you all the items that I grab for my crop. But um, also, this is serving as a challenge for uh, my friend Elise. She's having a uh, virtual challenge, crafty challenge, because of course we can't really meet uh, together and make things. So she decided to do a virtual challenge and it's got to do with fairies. So uh, here it is. I'm shooting two birds with one stone, but I don't kill birds. So that's not a cool thing for me to say. I don't like saying that, but you doing two things at once, two things for one purpose, whatever. So um, I will be making uh, the fairy garden. I also make uh, fairy wishing bottles. I will not be making the fairy wishing bottles tonight because it I need a uh, separate um, items to have here, and um, I don't have them. But eventually I will. I will. This will be fairy number one, fairy posting number one. Let me show you where you can find all this. You can buy it, find them at the Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, and 99 cent store, and of um, Walmart, anywhere else. But what did I grab? I grabbed this um, stones, um, these little gems that are different colors, uh, river rocks, aquarium rocks, clear gems, more aquarium rocks that are smaller, more river rocks these are called um, just regular decorative stones and i also grabbed these twigs from the dollar tree all this was from the dollar tree with the exception of these aquarium ones <clears throat> these two i got from the 99 cent store and then um these other birch wood looking um stems they're gonna be like little chair seats for the fairies <clears throat> i um got this garden dish I got two of these actually um, I got way more I have two right now but I got more for my they were gonna be for my guests and of course I grabbed all of the uh, little the fairies right the critters the gnomes the accessories like chairs here's more critters more fairies uh, what are these called uh, the mushrooms and more gnomes right so I grabbed that. I also grabbed, um, I'm gonna put a few things on here so you can see me, um, what I'm doing. I also grabbed some moss. This is reindeer moss. Yeah, reindeer moss and some uh, faux moss stones. I grabbed these and uh, there's also uh, moss sheets and I also have those but I don't have everything to, sh to show you. But yeah, I have these. And then what I've done is I have opened to show you another way to do a fairy garden. This could be something that can travel so you can take it to your kitchen or you can take it here at work. I like this because it's mobile, right? Um, I used a whole bag of the reindeer, reindeer moss. Here it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one with the, the five, this is the $5 and I forgot to show you. Maybe I didn't and I don't remember. I filmed this so many times. <clears throat> this is a $5 kit from fa uh, Family Dollar. And this is one little um, a fairy house from the Dollar Tree. And you can compare the size and the, so and the size 
size and size of each of the houses, right? So I'm going to make one in a smaller scale on this garden dish. There's also pine cone trees. There's also cactus. There's mushroom ones. There is uh, ladybugs uh, houses. There's other flowers. My favorite was the carrot house. And then there's this. I bought about I bought enough for my guests that were going to come, plus a few more. Uh, but let me show you what I'm going to do. I can whoa, 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 sorry. I almost dropped something. Ah, it would have been fine. It's just I have good reflexes and fast reflexes like a cat. All right, so I this is the garden dish that I showed you earlier. And here's the moss. And the moss uh, has an odor to it. And I don't mind it. I like it, actually. It's fine with me. I'm going to use one of the um, houses from the Dollar Tree <laughs> and I'm going to make some space. I hope you, you can see this. Yeah, you can um, right there. And then I'm going to open the um, the fairies right here. And get, you get three for a dollar and this is what they look like. This is what they look like. So I'm going to put a fairy here, right? And you can decorate it any, any way you want, right? Um, I'm also going to open these. I usually just tear the package from the top. I don't know how you do it. Grab a few of these stones and put them just around like this. These is what they look like. <laughs> then I'm going to grab a few of these. Um, I find these critters are a little too big for what I want. So I'm gonna grab some of the furniture. The furniture looks like, it's like a little, this is like a table for, it's so small, you can't tell. I, I don't know how you, we're gonna be able to appreciate this. Let's, let's see if I can do it with this. Okay, no, I'm not gonna be able to show you, no. But it's a table, it's a, a leaf table, um, and then two chairs, right? So you can put it like, it's gonna get lost in here. So just because they're so tiny. So keep that in mind, right? Then I'm gonna add some of these little bushes that I tore, right? Just as a different, you know, give it a different dimensions. <laughs> I'm gonna grab these too and this little like violet looking thing and put it around and I love the lights I think that's so cute I'm just gonna put it on the back right like this and I'm also going to do um, some where are they I'm gonna do these there's bigger than the fairy but hey right this is where that faux sheet, uh, moss sheet will be better because the, the fairy would be flat and taller, right? Like, let's say like this, she would be a little taller to, to show you. Um, so this is what um, the critters look like right here. The little, this is a little turtle and this is a little owl. If you can see that, this is a little owl. Um, so because this is sinking in, I'm going to show you the bigger fairy just for size purposes. Um, and I'm going to remove this house. I'm going to put the other house here. Okay. And then here's that, um, fence. You can put it anywhere you want like this. And what you can do is cut the bottle, the bottom of a bottle of water. Okay. And, um, cut the shape here as well so leave like a little bit like this and that could be like a little pond put a little bit of water on it and with this it looks like or hot glue or something right and, and you don't have to put water in it but this looks like water if you put the water bottle little thing on it so basically let's say this was a water bottle that's a see-through right so I just cut the bottom part like this much and stick on it so cute Sorry, I'm so thirsty. So watered down. I love it. Okay. And then here's the welcome to my fairy garden. That's exactly what this says. Welcome to my, welcome to my garden. Actually, not my fairy garden, but it's, that's where they're at. They're at their fairy garden. 
And then <laughs> if you want to have some like magical stones, you can put some in there. Um, some little twigs, or if you want to create some little tree, uh, you know, tree stumps uh, for them to sit and put some uh, stones on it. <clears throat> so I showed you, this is the gnome set. I don't want it to have too much glare, but that's the gnome set. Here's another fairy set. Okay. And then I'm going to show you another no fairy set. Yeah, this one. Here's another fairy set. Benjamin, I'm recording, honey. Um, this is another fa a fairy set. So I've shown you pretty much everything in here. Uh, the only, the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can even if this is portable. You see, you can take it to your desktop, to your kitchen table, and it's just so cute, right? I mean. You can put hot glue in it and then you'll be good. I'm just showing you with no hot glue right now, but or E6000, whatever glue of your choice. Okay, I'm going to turn this little lamp off, but I'm going to show you. Um, this is my fairy cat, my fairy catcher, I call it. This is another. So what I do is um, I put a little bit of reindeer moss in here and then um, I put my fairy in here and of course I glue it. Keep that in mind, and then I. This is another fairy garden where she can live, and another little place. So she's so cute, right? So you can t like take her to a little girl's birthday party or your friends. Um, and then I just put a little bit of you know reindeer and reindeer moss in there, and it's just so cute. And she's ready to go. She's in there. I captured a fairy. Isn't that cute? I mean. Use your creativity, guys. I um, if you if you're looking for these, um, I love these. I got these at um, ninety nine cent store, but it was not ninety nine cents. It was a dollar ninety nine or something like that, two ninety nine. I don't remember. But these are so cute. This is pink, right here, very light pink, and there's a fairy living in my jar. So I captured a fairy in here. Um, sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Silly. Silly rabbit. All right. So here is, again, what they look like. And here is the, um, this is so cute. It's one of my favorite things to do. I have to actually show you another uh, lighting device. Whatever. This is um, a wire bottle light so basically you can have like a bottle of wine and this is the this is the way that i do my fairy wishing bottles with but if i can find one i'll show you but i don't think i have one right here um so this light goes inside the light the 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 bottle and then you can go ahead and um do the uh hang on these are so bright. They're beautiful. I'm trying to turn them on. Bear with me. Here we go. Or not. Um, but they are usually more brighter than that. There we go. But you see how beautiful these are? Oh my gosh. This video just didn't do them any justice. But look how beautiful this is. And then there's going to be a fairy living in there. Let me put her back in here. Because she's so cute too. So, and there she is. And then you can just glue this and there's a fairy. You caught, you caught a fairy with the fairy lights. It's adorable. So keep an eye out for these. When I go to the store and I find these, I buy a few of them because I don't often see them. This one has kind of a short on it, but most of the time, they work great and they these are my favorite lights oh my gosh i love these lights oh i love them i love them alone and then you can decorate your little fairy garden too if you like um i mean the i mean this is your i mean it's limitless you can whatever you want the world is your oyster right um Hang on a minute. I have them. 
I have somebody knocking on my door. It's my hubby. He got locked out. My son locked him out. One second, guys. Do you see these beautiful lights? Aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness. So let's put it back together because I kind of destroyed it a little and I'll show you a close up. Okay. I'm gonna put all my little lights in here and they're like pink, green, blue, and yellow. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> they're so cute. And then my, my uh, garden fairy and the stepping stones and the sign it's just too cute too cute too cute too cute oh here's the house okay so here it is so it's done you're done you're done pretty much you're done you can put a few stones in there from your garden, from the outside. Some of those magic stones that I called the little gems. And you're completely done. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.